Shalom. Shalom. To start this lesson, we want to give our praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to sincere brothers, because there's truth and all truth and sincerity. We want the four corners of the earth diligently. <coughs> To you, I, to you, we say shalom. Shalom. And we want to. We just come back with another lesson, and what we want to go into is basically, basically how the Lord is in control, man. That's right. The Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. In in charge of all things. That's right. <laughs> Everything that happens is after the control of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shai. Nothing goes without them giving the say so before it happens. All right, they're in control, so. At the end of the day, by them being in control, whatever happens to us, just know it was from the Lord. All right? And the Lord's going to keep his men and his women and his children. All right? He's going to keep his men. He's going to keep his women and also children that believe in him, man. All right? He's going to keep all of them. All right? He's going to keep all of them. So whatever happens to us in the coming future, just know that what? The Lord gave the charge, man. So the Lord's going to give the charge for us to eat. He's going to give the charge for us to drink. He's going to give the charge for us to be merry and have abundance as the Holy Scriptures say, man. All right? And that's what we're looking forward to because we're fighting the good fight. All right? Sure. And at the end of the day, there's a reward for fighting the good fight. Because what did Apostle Paul say in 2 Second, uh, Second Timothy, man? He said, I have fought the good fight. I have laid up for me. A, I have a crown laid up for me, man. He knew that what? He endured to the end and that he was going to receive a reward. It is the same with us, man. We've been fighting and with all hell break loose, and the Lord's going to reward us, man, in different ways. By feeding us, by making us drink, by making us, you know, be protected, man. All right? You got it up. Hey, 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 like the brother was saying, man, listen, listen, man. Listen to the faith of the Lord. Listen to the sound of the brother's voice. Brother, Barak Athar. <laughs> okay, bless you, brother. Listen to the brother's voice, man. The, the brother, the brother is under the weather, but the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is still allowing him to go forth and do the word. Why? Because he have to preach the word of the Lord. The scripture says, "Who can resist his will?" Okay, the brother, the brother is under the weather, but the brother still is getting it out. All right, I got a few um, scriptures real quick. I want to bring on. I just lose one, but bear with me. I'm gonna find him back real quick. I got a, I got a, I got about three to what the brother was going into real quick, right? But let me just uh, cause I I, I lost it. I lost one. All right, I, I'm close on it now. Here we go. Okay, cool. Here we go. Okay. All right, so I got that one in the back now. So this is the book of Luke in the New Testament. This is Luke chapter um. 1 and verse 37, it says, For with the Most High, Yahweh, nothing shall be impossible. Yep. Right? That's and that's what the Bible was going into, man. The Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, is our power. That's right. Okay? If the scriptures say if the Most High is for us, who can be against us? That's right. When you understand the scriptures and understand who is your power, at the end of the day, it's better that it's better that you serve the Lord. The scriptures say to strive on the strive for the truth unto death, and the most I'll fight for you. That's right. So at the, at, the, at the end of the day, if you have this understanding, you would know. You would know. You would know that you have to do right. You have to repent. You have to live in righteousness. Don't worry about the what the wicked do. The scriptures right. say, don't worry about well, how the wicked shall be punished. Right. Worry how you're going to get salvation, roughly going to phrase it. That's right, that's right. Don't yeah. worry about what we can do. That's right. Okay? <laughs> the Most High is infinite. Right. His power is endless and boundless right. from the most ancient of days. When you understand that, trust me, man, you're going to know. When you know what the promises entail, that know that you, you, you going, the Most High promised that you're going to live forever if you obey his word as an Israelite. If you are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the promises is for you. Okay? So turn back, O oh backsliding Israel. Turn back to Yahweh Ba Shimmy Shai. Israel is his portion. You are 18 table of nations. All the other nations other outside of Israel don't belong. Well, the most I created all mankind, but at the end of the day, Israel is his portion. 
That's why the scriptures say, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, the Lord shall save his people, the elect of Israel in this time. Right. Okay, we're not talking about the flood. The flood, the scriptures say, Romans chapter 15 and verse 14 is written the fourth time with written for our learning. Okay? And that's why the scripture tell you in the book of Luke that so shall it was in the days of uh, um, Noah and so shall it be in these times. Yep. They were eating and they were drinking and giving in marriages. Yep. All right? Until, yep. the, until the water came and took them all away. That's it's right. going to be the same way in these times of the coming of the Son of, 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 son of Man, that our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's right. Right? The elect of that time in the flood was Noah, his son. All right? His wife. And, 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 his, and his son's three wives. And the Most High spared their lives, eight souls. But everybody else perished because evil was continually on the earth. And right now, people living in that same flood spirit. But at the end of the day, the world in the book of Peter to tell you that in this time, they reserve unto fire, which is the second death. And if you don't repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you're going to be in the lake of fire which is going to come by way of those ICBM missiles, my intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the return of our Lord that's going to come through those, those, uh, those laser beams that's going to be fired from those chariots, man. Okay? That's going to happen. But at the end of the day, our Lord <coughs> is infinite. His power is boundless, limitless. He is that power. With, 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 with no beginning and no end. Right. He's that power. I got a, another scripture. Um, this is the scripture where I kind of lost because I was trying to find some scripture real quick when we was uh, starting. This is the book of um, Jeremiah, the ninth chapter and the 20, I'm inside of the 23rd verse. It says, Thus said the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glorieth in this, that he understandeth and know, knoweth me, meaning the Lord, Yahweh, the, the heavenly Father, that I am Yahweh, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. So at the end of the day, you don't need to boast in certain things, right. in your riches, in certain things. If you don't understand the Lord, if you don't understand Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, you're going to be confounded. You're confused because you don't understand who created the heavens and the earth. Right. Now, if you understand who created the heavens and the earth and you're in that order and you you discipline and you obey his word, then you stand the chance because the scriptures say you are to please the most high meaning, say, like 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 Job, like righteous Job, like like Abraham, like like Lot, the righteous men of the Lord, whom the Lord chose because why? They obeyed his voice. Okay? They obeyed his voice. But if you ain't coming in that stead, then woe unto you because you know what I mean? You you Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai have to be your power. And if it's another, then woe unto you. Okay? Because we worship our Lord Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai who create the heavens and the earth. The Most High is a jealous power. We don't have no other gods before the Most High. Okay? I got one more um, precept. Babuksha, I want you to read that uh, Jeremiah 23, 9 to 10 again. Babuksha. Okay. Um, well, Jeremiah 9, uh, 23. 23. It says, Thus said the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Right, so don't you're not supposed to glory in those different things. Right. Go ahead. You got it, brother. Uh, verse 24 says, But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, right. the Lord, Yahweh, by the, the heavenly Father, Yahweh. Right. That I am Yahweh which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Right, man. We ought not to glorify in different things, but that we, you know, <laughs> like it says, verse 24, but let him that glorifieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. All right, we know the Lord, and we know that we know what the Lord wants us to do, all right, to please him. 
Because right. if we know what's pleasing to the Lord, what does that mean? If we continue to please the Lord, he's going to save us. All right? When, it, when you read the first John, the third chapter, the 22nd verse, it tells you whatever we ask, we, whatever we ask, we receive of the Father because what we keep his commandments and we do what's pleasing in his sight. All right? We, we ought to glorify that we know the Lord and we know what's pleasing to the Lord. And by us doing what's pleasing to the Lord, when all hell break loose, we'll be protected. Once again, the title of this lesson, the Lord is in control, is, is in charge. That's He's right. in control. That's right. All right? So if you're doing the will of the Lord, just know when all hell break loose, he going to protect you. That's right. The reason why he's making you go through what you go through is because he's in control. That's the right. reason why you're going through what you're going through now is because the Lord's in control, man. And I'm talking to myself first and foremost. We have to understand that. And once again, I say we because I'm talking to myself first and foremost. We have to understand that the Lord is the Lord is in control of all things. All right. We just have to hold on to our faith and keep fighting. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, the scripture tells us in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, the Lord chastises us like as a, as a, as if sons. Right. Because if it, 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 if it wasn't sons, then we would be bastards. But right. because He loves us, He chastises us. Right. Okay. And then, like the brother said, the Lord is in control. This is the book of Job, Job chapter 12 and verse 16. It says, "With Him is strength and wisdom." The deceived and the deceiver are his. So the Lord is in control right. of the right hand and the left hand. That's right. Of good and evil. That's right. The Lord is in, the Lord is a balanced power. Right. When you read the book of uh, what's that? Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs the eleventh chapter. Before you, uh, before you, you got it, brother. Go ahead. Uh, I you got, got quick, it, brother. I got a quick precept because the Lord, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord is in control, man. That's right. This is Psalms chapter what one hundred fifteen verse three. Psalms 115, verse 3. But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. Mm -hmm. All right? I got to read it again because it's very, it's very beautiful. Psalms chapter 115, verse 3. But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have, he have pleased. So whatever pleases the Lord, that's what he does, man, because uh -huh. he's in control. All right? Because he's above everything. Right. <laughs> hey, when you read about the seven brothers and their mother, all right? Yeah, why did the Lord do that? Because he was in control. Does that mean that uh, those uh, the brothers and their mother was wicked? When you read about it in Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, does it mean that the brothers, the brothers and their mother was wicked? No, the Lord made them go through what they had to go through, and that was they died for a right. They died uh, for a righteous reason because yeah. they didn't eat swine's flesh. All right? So at the end of the day, the Lord is in control. Whatever way the movie goes, just keep fighting. Keep going. Keep keep growing in this truth, man. Keep trying to seek the Lord so you can be saved. That's right. What do you, what you think is going to be the position of those brothers in the kingdom that, that, that died in the name of Yahweh Bashim <clears throat> and, and and stood their grounds? The, that, that family of the, those seven brothers and their mother. But that chose to to obey the Lord and 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 rather <laughs> not to disobey but die righteously in righteousness. Why, how do you think they're going to be living in the kingdom? Right. What you what you think is going to be their lot in the kingdom? <laughs> you think they're going to be some normal Israelites? <laughs> right. No, man. Bro, they died gloriously in the name of the Lord, that's man. That's right. That's right. Ain't much people be able to say that. I mean. You have brothers who are going to be martyrs, yeah. But at the end of the day, in the kingdom is order, right? We know it's order. But why, what do you think the Lord is going to do for them in the kingdom? Yeah. Number I mean, one, just thinking of it. Number one, they, they're a part of that 144,000. That, that, that right there is major. Right. Because it's going to be different classes in the kingdom. All right? A regular Israelite is not going to be on, a, on the same level as the 144,000. Right. Just like in these times. Me, myself, and the brother right next to me, we're not on the same level as Jay-Z or, you know, uh, Beyonce and so on and so forth. They're more glorified in this place. Right. Us us two right here, we're looked at, we're looked at as <coughs> bubs, bubs in this place. Not saying Israelites going to be looked at as bubs because all Israelites in the kingdom will be righteous. All right? We will all be good. <laughs> but it's going to be different levels. That's right. All right? Right. The the one hundred forty four thousand and the one third are gonna be the celebrities, man. 
Just like you have celebrities, celebrities in these times, the 140, the 144,000 and the one third are gonna be celebrities in the kingdom, man. And the scriptures speak about it. The scriptures say, I, I, "I will get thee praise in all the lands that thou that was put to shame." So, right, the, the brother is on point with that. Matter of fact, cause this is scripture where I hold, and um, this is uh, Proverbs chapter eleven and verse one. It says, "A false balance is an abomination to the Lord." But a just way, this is the light, showing you that the Lord is a balanced power. That's right. He controls the right and the left-hand side. The Lord is the best movie director you can think of. Right. This movie is his movie. He controls the heroes and the villains. <laughs> right. Yeah, he controls the heroes and the villains. That's right. He's the best movie director ever. That's right. Ever. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Lord is in control. Mm -hmm. You can't go around. This is, this is the Lord movie. Right. You got a precept? I was just looking at it. This is this is the law of movie, man. You can't you can't go around this, man. Right. You know it, it would it would behoove you to repent and seek the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimei or Shai Acts three and nineteen? Repent in these times because if you don't, then you're gonna have Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, and the ninth verse through the twelfth verse will tell you say you're gonna have death by pain. Even though um, uh, Romans chapter 11 and verse 12, um, 26 tell you, say, and all Israel shall be saved. Yeah, but during the second death, a lot of our people are going to die, but they're going to have to be raised up to an Israelite man and an Israelite woman in the kingdom mm -hmm. and come back in their mind righteously because right now they're not in their right mind. Right. They're, they're sinning and they're going against the Lord. They're coming up against the word of the Lord and a lot of them scoffing. Right. And then a lot of them just being plain wicked. Yep. And they're going to have to understand it by death by pain because we live in right now in the great spirit and a lot of them ain't repenting. What it tells you in Zechariah, the 13th chapter and the 8th verse, two thirds of the land shall be cut off and die. That's right. But the third shall, uh, but the one third shall be brought to the fire. That's right. Okay? Telling you that two thirds of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, you are going to be burnt with fire and many different plagues are going to come upon you. Right. Sword, famine, fire from the plague itself. Right. These things are going to happen because why you don't want to repent according to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter and the 20th verse. All these things is going to be going on but you still don't want to repent. You don't want to repent. You don't want to turn from away from your wickedness. You're not always mindful of the scourges. The Lord is showing you these things. Last year, 2020, you was in a lockdown and you had time to repent and seek the Lord, but what did you do? You came out of that lockdown even more evil. Where did the party? Where did it be in mirth? You want to go to the next club. You want to continue sleeping with your with your with your brethren wife, your brother's wife, your friend wife. Right? So what you want to do? Sleep with your brother's wife with your with your Gucci slippers on, <laughs> right? Right, right? Knowing you're being wicked, you're being evil, and knowing, that, yo, come on, man. Right. A, a lot, a lot of you women gonna get judged too. Don't don't think that judgment ain't for you. Zephaniah three and uh, 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 and five. Mm -hmm. Judgment for you women too, man. You women are out here more than men. A lot of men put in the grave already. A lot of men in prison, but these women out here in abundance. Right. So when the judgment come, a lot of judgment is for these women. Right. And they been doing wicked and they been doing evil too. Right. Not because we ain't we, we really mention the woman or get in a woman in case that much. Judgment for these women, man. Because the men been dying a long time ago. Men usually shoot and kill they one another. Slewing and slaying they one another. So they feeling the pain and they and they going through it. But we should leave it. Because when you have war. War goes on, a man goes off to war, and war goes on. Men perish in war. That leaves more women. Mm -hmm. Men goes off and goes to prison. Women lie on men. Say this, say that. Man go to prison. Right. All these things. A lot of men die in prison. Right. Yeah, a lot of people just go to prison for simple things, and, and then one thing turn into another, you know. Huh. If you get into a simple fight in prison, you go into prison for a small thing, right. but, and then a small thing but, turn uh, into something different. All right, Shalom. Shalom. You know, we just back again. This will be a part two. You know, this will be a part two to the first lesson. Come. All right, so this is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. And it says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Mm -hmm. 
you want to expand on that? Yeah, you got it, bro. All right, Kanye is showing you the most highs in, in control of all things, man. Sure. The Lord run things. The Lord is in control of all things. Sure. Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter and the first verse, tell it says, Thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. Sure. So the Lord is in <laughs> charge of all things. The, the scripture tell you, say, a sparrow doesn't fall to the uh, earth. So the Lord say to it, man. Right, so... All things. Right. This is meaning all things. That's right. All right? <laughs> you, there's no getting around it. Right. So I got a piece of back you up in the book of Isaiah. It's Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Well, verse 9. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things. All right? Which the former things are the prophecies. All right? Remember the former things of old, which are the prophecies. For I am the most high. And there is none else. I am the most high, and there is none like me. Verse 10, this is the point. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Saying, my, saying, my, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So I think this proves also that the Lord is, the Lord is in control, because... The Lord does whatever it, it, it you know, <laughs> the Lord do, does whatever, you know, he wants, man. He's in control. All right. Once again, once again, verse 10, Isaiah 46, verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. The Lord will do all his pleasure and his counsel will stand because why? He's in control. All right. He's in control, man. You go <laughs> once again. The Lord is, control, is in control. Whatever the Lord has in plan, guess what is going to happen, man. That's right. All right. And like the, the brother said, hey, the fault, the balance. The Lord deals with balance, man. Because what He's in control of all things, and even be, even with Him being in control, He still deals with balance, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. I got a precept to back up the brother. This is Isaiah the forty-second chapter, the eighth verse. It says. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, <laughs> I tell you of them. Right. So the Lord tell you of these things by his prophets. When you read uh, Luke, the first chapter and the seven days verse, it tells you, say, the Lord speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been before the foundation of the earth. Right. Okay? But things that the Lord is going to do, he warn you of these things, but he tell you of these things by his prophets. Sure. But when you read Second Ezra, the fourth chapter and the 37th verse, it tells you, says, he, he measure as he measured the times, and he doesn't stir nor move those things until those times be fulfilled, roughly paraphrasing. So things that the Most High put into play, they have to come to pass. They have to be fulfilled. <laughs> the Most High said he will not give his glory to another man. The Most High is not a man that he should, should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. That's right. It tells you that in the book of um, Numbers, the 23rd chapter and the 19th verse. Okay? Yep. Malachi 3 and 6 tells you that the Lord doesn't change. Okay, yet... Uh, so ye sons of Jacob are, are not, not consumed, consumed. That's meaning right. say we benefited from the Lord not changing. Right, I think that's Malachi chapter three and six. I yeah, as I said, Malachi three and six. Uh -huh. We benefited from the Lord not consuming. When you read Psalms one hundred and twenty-four, the hundred and twenty-four chapter, it tell you that you know because the Lord didn't change. When men rose up against us, we wasn't swallowed up because the Lord don't change. That's right. We benefited from that. Right. You got it, brother. Hey, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. So at the end of the day, you know, the Lord's thoughts, the Lord's thoughts are on a higher level than our thoughts. And the Lord's right. ways are on a higher level than our ways. All right? Because what? The Lord is in control. All right? We, the point that we're trying we're trying to drive home is that the Lord is in control, all right? And whatever the Lord says, it will happen, all right? And to back that point up, <clears throat> I'll continue. Verse 9, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. 
and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11, this is the point. So shall my word be that goeth, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So at the, so at the end of the day, whatever the Lord, <laughs> whatever the Lord uh, uh, plans out, it's mm -hmm. gonna come to pass. Mm -hmm. All right, it's gonna come to pass. The Lord does not do anything, and it doesn't come to pass. All right, the Lord, nothing happens on the planet Earth without the Lord giving the say so, or right? without it being preordained. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you got it out. It's the book of um, Second Ezra, <laughs> the fifteenth chapter. We're gonna start with the first verse. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy." Which I will put in thy mouth. The Lord said, "This is." The Lord said, "He's going to put the word of prophecy in your mouth." Right. Okay. It says, "Say the Lord," verse two, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. The word of the Lord is faithful and true. Okay. It's no getting around it, man. When you read Proverbs chapter thirty and verse five, it tells you the word of the Lord is pure. That's right. Okay. The word of the Lord is faithful and true. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. This word incredulity, it means the unbelief. Okay? Sorry. Let not the incredulity, right? Uh-huh. Of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse 4, it says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So if you don't believe the word of the Lord, the scripture tells you, Acts chapter 5 and verse 29, we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The Most High ways is more perfect than man's ways. Man, man doesn't know. That's This is the reason why we have the law. This is the reason why we have the Holy Scriptures. Because the book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1 tell you that he that step away from this book, roughly paraphrasing, yep. surely he's going to die. And, and but he that come to the book shall live and have life. If you want me to grab it, I can do you it. You can grab it, brother. You got it, Baba Kasha. This is the book of Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. It's lucky if I cut you no, off. No, you got it. I'm just telling you, you're yeah. making the point. You got it, bro. Baruch 4 and 1, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Mm -hmm. That the and the law that endure forever. Uh -huh. All they that keep it shall come to it's like you. All uh all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right. So going back here to second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse four, it says for all the unfaithful. Right. So if you ain't keeping it, it means that you're unfaithful. That's right. All the unfaithful <laughs> shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. That's why we went to that precept. That's right. Yeah, it's showing you the most I know what is best for you. That's why the most I tell you not to eat pork. Because he created the pig to clean the earth. He created lobster and crab to clean the bottom of the sea. Right. You think the most I know what's best for you? Right. That's Come why he's telling you, man. Come right. on. He telling you what to do and what not to do. Because he know ahead of you. If you the if you the father, you the mother, you're supposed to teach the child. How right. the child gonna grow up in the earth and teach you. Right, exactly. You know, so you say, hey, you don't eat this because this is slop. Right. This came from, you understand? This, this, this is slop from the pig. The pig uh, cleans the earth. Whatever the pig eat, you are what you eat. So if you eat the pig, whatever in the pig, the shit, whatever on the ground, the pig is going to eat. You going to, by digesting the pig, you digest whatever he ate. That's right. So the Lord said, don't eat the pig. Don't eat the crab. Don't eat the shrimp. That's right. But our people still going ahead and doing it. Right. You don't think the Lord knows what's best for you, man? Right. The Lord knows what's best for you. That's why you tell you to don't do it. And our people know, our people know <laughs> they're not supposed to be doing these different things. But right. what the scriptures say? The scriptures say the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, yep. but the ways of the wicked seduce them. So the wicked, 
which is Esau eat them the so-called white man give them shrimp crab lobster pig pork give them these things as a delicacy to confuse them and keep them away and keep them confused from their power right. no one say they're confusing them and they know what they're doing they try to keep them away from their power because they want to stay in rulership and that's why they're doing it they're doing these things as a delicacy like a, as a delicacy to our people but you eat shit literally eating bullshit it's not good for you. The law speak against this thing. You don't supposed to have it. God, hey, I got, I got Risa, because our people know not to do these things, man. Matter of fact, I'll bring this out before I bring out this precept. This is the book of Amos, chapter three, and verse one, and it says, Amos chapter three, and verse one, and it says, hear this word, yeah, Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh have spoken, uh, have spoken against you. All right. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family mm -hmm. which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, mm -hmm. "You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities." So at the end of the day. Our people be eating this bullshit and so on and so forth. Esau portrays it to be a delic delicacy, but you're not supposed to do it. And our people know that to do it, that's why the Lord going to judge our people because we're his people. Right. And I always like to bring this out at cap, man. <laughs> you, when you and your homeboys get in trouble at school, when your parents come, he, your parents not coming to whoop your homeboys' asses. Your friends' asses, they're coming to whoop your ass, man. Mm -hmm. When your father, when you, when you and your friends get in trouble, I should say it like this: When you and your friends get in trouble at school, and y'all was doing some fuck shit, y'all was doing some bullshit, and y'all get in trouble, and your and your father comes, he's gonna whoop your ass. That's right. He's gonna sit you down and talk to you. All right. Why is that? Because you're his son. He's gonna whoop your ass. He's gonna take. He's gonna take away your things. All right, he's gonna sit down and lecture you. All right, why is that? Because you're his son. All right, just like us, man. Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are you are God's you are God's chosen people. Mm -hmm. So when 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 the Lord tell you not to do something and you do it, He chastises you. He whoops your ass. All right, He takes stuff from you. Why? Because you're His people. All right. Next precept I'll bring out is in the Book of Romans. Chapter ten, verse two. For I bear them, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. Our people have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, man. Uh -huh. All right, they know better. Our people know better, man. Verse three. For they being ignorant, of, Romans, uh, Romans chapter ten, verse three. For they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness. And going to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high. So our people try to our people try to establish their own righteousness instead of the righteousness of the most high. And they're going to be judged for that, man. Because the Lord is in control. You're not in control, man. Neither is Esau in control. The so-called white man, which is actually red. He's not even in control. The Lord controls him, man. Alright? You got it up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 23. It says, but this people had a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Yeah, our people are revolted and gone, man. They ain't, they ain't listening to the Lord, man. They're doing their own thing, man. When the Lord said Ezekiel to them, the Lord tell them, say, um, <laughs> they ain't going to listen to you because they would not listen to me. Right. You know what I mean? Our people, they tell you, when you read Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30, it says this is a stiff-necked people. Okay, but the Lord said in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves because the Lord said, yeah, I'm going to scatter you. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to scatter you because you sinned against me. Hey, the Lord is all infinite, man. The Lord is that um, boundless limitless power. You, it's, it's not getting away. When, when, we, when, when we enter into that covenant, with Moses in the wilderness, you know, it is either we're going to do good and have those blessings and be overtaken in blessings, 
or we're going to be overtaken in curses if we disrespect the most high and we 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 that, that's what we did we sinned against the lord okay we sinned against the lord which is not a good thing at all okay it's not a good thing at all so i'm trying to find the book of uh um, real quick the book of hosea hosea The sixth chapter at the fourth verse. Salakia. Hosea chapter four and verse six. Right. And it says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, right. that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. I will also forget thy children. Right. Okay, so the Lord say, the Lord say, even <laughs> even your children, He is gonna forget because why? We 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 going off, and if you're going off, the Lord is just not having it, man. That's the right. Lord ain't having it. Let's go to Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, at the fourth, the fourteenth verse. It says, "If my people." which are called by my name. If my people which are called by my name, are how are we called by the Most High's name? The Most High's name is Yahweh. His son's name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? Israel in the Hebrew is Yah Sharala. And this is how we call by the Most High's name. Yahweh. Yah. Yahweh Shai. Yah. Sharela, if my people, which is called by my name, we call by the Most High's name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal, heal their land. Okay? If our people was to come together in unity and pray, the Lord will come and save us. But we know that's not going to happen because it's written. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8 and two parts and the land shall be cut off and die. It's already written. These people ain't going to repent. That's right. They ain't going to do it. That's right. <laughs> yep. They ain't going to do it, bro. You have a precept? Uh. They ain't going to do it, man. But at the end of the day, the Lord is in control, man. This is the most high movie. That's right. You know, the scriptures say, who can, who can resist his will at the end of the day? Who the most high want is going to have and that that's what's going to happen right. you know the brother read it already man i mean at the end of the day uh um, the most high of words ain't gonna turn back on him void right whatever whatever is established yeah whatever is whatever the lord wants is already set in stone that's right all right <laughs> it's already it's already it's already written in the books it just has to play out that's all that's, that's all. all it's just playing out that's right that's all I had that. Let me get that scripture real quick, and then you can read that. Okay. Like the brother was saying, whatever, whatever is in the, whatever is in the book is just basically playing out. I uh, um, quoted it earlier. Let me just go to it so I can read it, real quick. Um, second Ezra, second Ezra, the fourth chapter, at the thirty-seventh verse. And let's read that real quick because, like the brother was saying, whatever the Most High said in play. It, it all have even though even our Lord, our Lord had to go on the cross and die and be resurrected because all that was a part of the Most High's movie. Right. Okay, this is um Second Exodus the fourth chapter and the thirty seventh verse. It says, "By a measure had he measured the times, and by number had he numbered the times, and he do not move nor stir them until." The said measure be fulfilled. So at the end of the day, these things have to come to fulfillment. When they come to fulfillment, that's when it happens. Right. Okay, the scripture tell you that Revelation 19 and 10. This uh, 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 the the spirit. What it, what it says, our Lord. 
Yeah, the, uh, the, the testimony the, of our Lord is the spirit, is, of, is the spirit of prophecy. Right. So these things have to happen and, and, then, and then come to pass. The prophecies have to be fulfilled. Um, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. Well, hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Get it, brother. You got it. The, the prophecies, man, we, we live in a time. We're supposed to be in holy conversation. Speaking of these prophecies and things that's going to happen, what's, ne what's next? Right. Jacob's trouble, that microchip, and the return of our Lord. That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye, seek ye out of the book of the Lord Yahweh and read. That's right. No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. That's right. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. That's right. For by... For my mouth it have, uh, for my mouth it have commanded, uh -huh. and his spirit it uh -huh. have gathered them. That's right. Yep. His spirit had gathered them. Right. Yep. Yep. Like you said, and his uh, towards the end, and his spirit it have gathered them. Yep. So, so none of them are going. None is going to fail. I got uh, Revelation nineteen and ten. It's going. It's going to read that. It says, and I and I fell at his feet. This is John the Revelator and yeah. the angel. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant. <laughs> right. The angel is our fellow servant. Right. The messenger. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. So prophecy, man, we in holy conversation with the prophecy, speaking the words of the Lord and the things that are to come to pass, being the prophets. Right. You know, I don't want Ratazah, we are those men. The scripture tell you that the spirit of a prophet is subject so unto a prophet. prophet. Right. You know, so we just speaking the words of the Lord, man. Right. We're, we're speaking, we're speaking the words that the Lord, the Lord, had, the, the Lord predestinated. Right. You kind, know, kind. we're speaking the words that the Lord predestinated. And just like he predestined us from the beginning, the prophets have been here from the beginning. That's right. Read that in the book of Ju uh, Luke, the first chapter. That's right. His prophets have been here from the beginning. So the Lord is in control of all things, and the Lord has put the Spirit upon us to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. All right? And prophesy what the Lord is going to do because he is the Almighty. He is He is in control. That's right. The Lord so, told Daniel that you're going to prophesy <clears throat> in the end. Yep. This is uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 13. It says, But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest. Meaning, Daniel is going to pass, but he's going to come back. And stand in thy lot at the end of the days. What that's talking about? That's talking about <laughs> reincarnation. reincarnation. Right. Regeneration. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So yeah. Daniel is back in these times now, right. prophesying before the return of our Lord. Right. Back in the flesh. Right. That's right. Yep. You see, the spread of a, of a of a prophet is subject under the prophets, man. And hey, if you if you in uh, plantation Christianity, you ain't gonna get this. That's right. You ain't gonna be able to get this, man. Yep. This is for the true men of the Lord. That's why the scriptures say hey, you raise up the the apostles last because they were gonna send out the the, the, the true word of the Lord. That, that 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 plantation Christianity, you can't even find the word Christianity in the scriptures. Right. <laughs> Showing you that something made up. Right. I got a preset. Go ahead, but you got it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables mm -hmm. that he may run that readeth it. Mm -hmm. All right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. That's right. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And we see these prophecies being fulfilled, man. All right, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that that he may run that read of it. That's talking about the prophecies, man. That's right. Verse three again, Habakkuk th uh, two and three, Habakkuk chapter two, verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it though it tarry, wait for it. Though it though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So at the end of the day, these prophecies will come to pass, man. That's what I should say, all right? If I said anything else, forgive me. The correct thing is these prophecies will be uh, come to pass because what? The Lord ordained them to come to pass, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead. I'll... Got some precepts to back you up real quick. 
This is the book of um, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter and the 33rd <laughs> verse. It says, Rakatha, it says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. That's right. <laughs> so when the word of the Lord come to pass, you going to know that the prophet of Yahweh by Shimei or Shai was among you. Right. Because we've been here and we've been telling you. Right. All right. This is a precept in the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 9. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. Yeah, because prophet means to say before. And this, why we, and this is the reason why we're here. We are here to give you warning. When you read the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter, and the 17th verse, it tells you clearly to warn the children of Israel. The Lord sent out his servants, right, right, to warn the people. So let's grab that real quick. Jeremiah, Salakia, Ezekiel, chapter 3, real quick. I'll, I'll give it to you, brother. Chapter 3 and verse 17, right? Yep. And it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. The Lord said to give you warning, man. Repent. Turn back from your wicked ways. Turn away from evilness. Turn away from your abominations and seek the Lord. Seek your own by Shem Yahushai because we're living in a time of great judgment. Man. The Lord ain't sparing people in these times, you know. That's right. The Lord ain't playing with people, so you want to repent. Acts 3 and 19. Repent. All right? And be converted. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Don't play around, man. Repent. The Lord, the Lord judging people, man. Don't play. You got it, brother. Uh just to back you up, uh, this is uh this to back you up uh with uh this to back you up with how the spiritual prophets are subject to the prophets. Sure. This is first Corinthians fourteen and uh, thirty two. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So at the end of the day, you know, the same prophets from year uh, from generations ago are back here today man that's right all right the, the same prophets I, I should say it like this all right forgive me all right i should say it like this the prophets daniel john the revelator and so on and so forth they're back here today because what the spirit of a prophet is subject to a prophet mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna read it again first corinthians chapter 14 and 32 and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets so at the end of the day, Daniel's back, John the Revelator, these uh -huh. different prophets that you read about in the scriptures, they're back here today, man. Uh -huh. All right? Fulfilling their lots, man. Okay? Uh, this is our Revelation. You know, I just want to bring that out for edification. You got it, brother. Revelation chapter 10, and verse 11. And it says, And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. All right. So this is Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11. This is talking about John the Revelator. That's right. Okay? He was told that he got to prophesy again before many peoples. That's right. Okay? And, and, and nations and tongues and kings. So John the Revelator is going to be back in these times, just as well as Daniel prophesying. Because like the brother was saying, the spirit of, uh, of the prophets is subject to the, the prophets, prophets, man. That's right. You know, you you you. In, in, in order for you to understand the scriptures, the Holy Spirit has to be rested upon you to know that reincarnation is real. You know, oh, our Lord was Yahweh Shai. Uh, Slaki, like our, uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai was Solomon. Our Lord was Isaac. Right. You understand? Right. True, true reincarnation. If you don't, if you don't understand these things, you're gonna understand the scriptures fully. That's right. You know what I'm saying? How you how are you gonna understand it fully if you if you can't understand those things? Yep. You know? Yep. It's, it's it's deeper than you think, man. It's more than meets the eye. <laughs> you can scripture to study to show thyself approved, man. Uh -huh. 
and give diligence to make a call in an election. Sure, so you, you got to really be studying. You can't just be at the surface of things and, and thinking that you got something. No, the scriptures say to study to show yourself approved, man. Right. Rightly dividing the word. Rightly dividing the word of the law. How you think you're going to do that if you're not rightly dividing the word? Let's grab that real quick. That's in uh, 2 Timothy, the 15th chapter. 2 Timothy. The second chapter. Uh, I think it's 2.15. Yeah. Wait, let, me, let me find it. Okay. The scripture says you got to rightly divide the word. If you're not rightly dividing the word, so then how are you going to understand what's going on? Right? Right. You got to be rightly dividing the word. And the scripture says they give diligence to make it quality the election. Sure. Sure. Giving diligence is being prudent, man. That that has to do with being wise. You can't just think, say, it's just going to happen if, you, if you're not giving yourself over to diligence. You know, 2 Timothy 2, 15. It says, study to show thyself approved. Why? Who are you approving yourself unto? The most high. That's right. That's why it says study. The most, what is, what is Romans 15 and 4 say? Things written a four time was written for our learning. So the most high want to know. When you read, uh, what's that? Ecclesiastes chapter, um, I think it's 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 15 says, the most I require that which is past. That's right. Okay? If the most I require this is past, that means you got to go back and study. Okay? Ecclesiastes 39 and verse 1, and says, you will be giving yourself. Grab Ecclesiasticus. Salakia. Grab Ecclesiasticus 30, 39 and verse 1. It says, giving yourself over to the ancient, and, you, and you'll be studying prophecy. Because. This is how you're going to know. If you don't do that, if you ain't giving yourself diligence to prophecy, read that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. But he that give, but he that give his mind to the law of the Most High, right. and is, uh, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of mm -hmm. all the ancient. Yes. And be occupied in prophecies. Hello. There you go. Right. See, see, if you're trying to seek out the wisdom of the Most High, all right. All right, how are you going to seek out the wisdom of the Most High if you ain't going through this book? That's right. Like literally going through this book. Right. You got to literally go through this book. It's just no playing around. So Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto who? Unto Yahweh, the Most High. So you can't fake this. No, you can't. You can't finesse the Most High. You really got to be studying. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's right. Rightly dividing the word of truth. So you, you got the scripture say, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's right. So if you really believe on Yahweh, you're going to do this. That's right. You're going to do this. Bob Shah, can you read that again? <laughs> Which one? Uh, that's Second Timothy two and fifteen. I, I lost the page, but I can find it back. So like, uh, yeah. I, 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 I turn it. I turn scripture. Let me go back to it. Yeah, so it's telling you, man. It is, man, you know, going. It's no going around this thing. You got to be right into it. Second Timothy, chapter two. Well, First Timothy. First Timothy? Second, Second Timothy. Okay, Second Timothy. Yeah, Second Timothy chapter 2. Oh, yeah. And verse... Uh, no, Second Timothy. <laughs> it's Thessalonians what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, yeah. rightly... Dividing the word of truth. That's right. So this is not something that you could go around. You cannot finesse the most high. The most high knows if you're studying, man. Right. The most high knows hey, every chance I get, you know. I mean, because you could open the scripture, but as as well as on your phone. When I'm when I'm listening to lessons, I would hear something and I would say, you know what? That precept goes with a precept what I know already. <laughs> Let me screenshot that precept with this precept what I know already. And then when I go back to the scriptures, I would log it in. I would log it. Right. Yeah, physically log it in. Yeah, but because I'm listening to what somebody said, I said, well, my, 
This is a beautiful precept. This is powerful. Right. Bam. So you have this powerful precept right. along with something which you already have already, which you know. Right. You precept it already, but something or, or something which you already know. And I would screenshot both of them together, right. knowing that one of them I already have already, but just to put it together. So when you when you on your on your downtime, mm -hmm. you could just actually physically lodge it in. So now when you come back to your scripture when it's time to teach, that's something that when you physically do that work. Yep. That's why the scriptures say rightly dividing the word of the truth. Word of truth. But I do that because we got to teach. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We got to teach. And when, when we go and when we, when we go and teach, we got to make sense because when we came to the men of the Lord, our elders and our apostles, they made it made sense to us, man. The yes. scriptures say, how did how well, how can I do it unless some man should teach me? Yep, you know, yep. it, it made sense. This this how we came into the truth because it made sense to us. We all been in Christianity before. You know what I mean? Like under that spell. But it never made sense. You know what I mean? Right. But this makes sense. This makes sense, man. That's right. You got it, bro. This is just to back you up because you did say uh you quoted Acts the eighth chapter with uh fill up in the unit where right. the unit said uh yes. With, with, uh, with Philip, water, brother. To water, water. The water you're about to be out. Sorry. Philip asked, Philip asked the unit, do you understand what you're reading? Right. Or roughly paraphrase it, he said, how can I understand except what teach me? Uh-huh. All right? And this is a precept because we all have to be taught. This is Romans, the 10th chapter. Romans, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord... Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? I'm going to read 14 again. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So, you need a preacher. You need a prophet. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> all right? Uh, verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? And we have been sent from the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Your pastor in the church has not been sent from sent by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's an imposter. That's right. All right? And, and people that say that... Uh, People that say the mark of the beast is not the is not the uh, RFID chip, they're imposters, man. They were not sent by the Lord. People that say John the Baptist fell out the truth, they're imposters. People that say, people that are not preaching the one hundred percent truth are imposters, man. And the Lord is in control of them as well, because the Lord is controlling them to preach their bullshit, so they can be destroyed at the end. Right. All right, and destroy those that follow after them as well. Yeah, because the, the scripture said, "Let the multitude be perish." Right, the scripture said, "Let the multitude <laughs> perish," which was born in vain. That's right, and that's a part of the movie. That's right, because the Lord didn't choose everybody. The Lord didn't choose all people. That's why the scripture say, "The Lord said, um, uh, what's that? Um, uh, what the Lord said in um, the seventeenth chapter, the ninth verse, I pray for thee." I pray, I pray for you. John. John, John the 17. Seventh chapter, 17th chapter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. pray, I pray for thee. I pray not, not for, for the world. world. Right. God. Right. You this know. ain't for everybody. Right. This is for the elect of Israel. That's right. uh, Galatians 6 and 16, the Israel of the Most High. That's right. That's right. You got it, brother. Romans chapter 10, verse 15, at the top again. And how shall they preach without, uh, slack you. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. All right, but verse sixteen. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for a for Isaiah. for Isaiah's daughter saith, Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Who have believed our report. Verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of the most high. Alright. The point is in verse uh, 15 though. Uh, the point was verse 14 and 15. Because you have to be taught man. That's right. Alright. And whoever taught you. 
has to be set for the Lord for you to get the 100% edification. Mm -hmm. All right? You got to be taught. You got to just jump up and act like, say, you, you know this right. from out of nowhere. Somebody got to teach you. You got to respect your elders. Right. That's, that's, that's why the scripture said they give double honors to the elders. That's right. So you can't just jump up. I got a precept real quick to back you up. This is 2 Timothy chapter 14. I'm, uh, my son, verse 14, I'm going to read 14 and 15. It says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, meaning, say, somebody taught you, mm. and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Somebody taught you, verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known that the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So at the end of the day, you need to be taught, man. Right. That's the only way you're going to get this. You know, I didn't get this off my own. Brothers, open up my eyes. When I came to the YouTube and I saw to the spirit of Yahweh Shai, right. you know, I was in the world lost, being wicked, being gullible, and doing wickedness and doing evil. Just as well as enough other people, but the Lord opens you up if the Lord so chooses it to show you the light. You know what I mean? Uh, First Peter chapter two and verse nine, uh -huh. and that's why I said to what he help about Shimei was shy, uh -huh. but taking me out of darkness and bringing me into this marvelous light. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, it's all of the Lord. He don't have to do it, but hey, His mercy, mercy and wrath come from the Lord. <laughs> and right now, with the, the, the little leeway the Lord give me. I'm using it to the best of my ability, man. We live in the time of the grace period. Whatever the Lord, the little the Lord give me, I'm trying to make the best of it, man. Right. I'm trying to make the best of it. Because the Lord says, flip this talent, whatever I give you, <laughs> right. try to flip it and make right. something of it, man. Right. The scripture says, you thou know that I, that I was an austere man. Yep. If you take that my talent and hide it and put it in a napkin, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey. Lord say they say say the little that you have shall be taken away right. and given to him that has much because you joking. The Lord give you a certain particular thing to, to work or to flip and you ain't do nothing about it. Right. Yeah. That's Matthew the twenty fifth chapter. Yeah, you better make something happen, man. That's right. Make something happen. <laughs> That's right. Matter of fact, I'll grab it. Yeah, grab it, bro. Bring it up. For edification because Let's talk and talking about those talents, man. Yeah. You know, Lord say, Lord say, hey, he gave different, different brothers um, different talents. What you going to do with it? That's right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, and verse, um, verse 14. Matthew 25 and verse 13. Oh, no. Matthew 25 and verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man tra traveling. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Which that man traveling into a far country represents Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. Who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And what's his goods? This word. And unto one he gave five talents to another two and to and to, and to another one, to every man according to, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Did he that had received the, did he that had received the five talents, yep, did he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them another five talents. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? No, you got it. Continue to read. And uh, verse 17, And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained another two. But he that had but he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so... He that had received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, Yahweh Shai, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents. Yeah, I have gained besides, beside them five talents more. Yeah, so that servant did well. Right. 
he, he flipped it. He, he made just as much as he gained. Right. So that's the good thing. He did good. He did well. Right. Read on, buddy. You got it. And it's going to prove that he did well in the next verse. You got it. Verse 21, his Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's right. Thou has been faithful over a few things. Mm -hmm. I will make thee ruler over many things. That's right. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, which the joy of our Lord through the Spirit is the kingdom. That's right. All right. So I did, they... That that servant right there that had the five talents, he flipped his talents. Uh -huh. He's a part of the elect, man. That means that he did the best. That's right. He did, he did the best he could do because he had five talents and he made five of it. He did the best he could do. That's right. The, 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 when you read the, the scriptures, ah, Peter asks the Lord, "Behold, we have we have forsaken all right. for 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 thee. For what shall we have therefore?" And the Lord tell them to you, whatever they forsake for him, they shall have a hundredfold. That's right. You know, so hey, at the end of the day, I mean, in that scenario, they're going to have a hundredfold because the, the Lord is all powerful and mighty and, and, and could do those things. Right. But, so that's just, an, uh, that's just an account to show you, even if you flip fivefold, he gave you five and you flip five, he say, all right, have control over these. But the Lord said a hundredfold. <laughs> Right. And, and another account, it says a hundredfold. Right. So it, it's going to be even greater for us, man. If you can find that account, bring it out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be even greater for us. I'm going to keep reading, though. Uh, you, you was going to say anything no, else? No, go, go, go ahead. You got it. Matthew 25 and verse 21 again. His Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, said, all right? His Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, which is Yahweh Shai. He oh, verse 22. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, Yahweh Shai, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord his Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. So the individual that had two talents, he flipped his talents too. Uh -huh. And guess what? He was a part of the elect. All right? He entered into the joy of his Lord, which is the kingdom. All right? Verse 24. Did he which had received the one talent, all right? Then he that had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sowed and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast been. Lo, there thou hast that is died. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou, suck it, thou, uh, thou artist, well, basically what is going into that servant that had the uh, one talent uh -huh. He hid his talent, man. Yep. He didn't flip his talents. No. All right? And it continues, verse 27. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the strangers, and did at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it on, and give it, and give it, slack you, forgive me, and give it unto him, which had, which have ten talents, uh -huh. for unto every word that hath shall he give it, shall be given, and he shall have abundance. That's right. But from him that have not shall he, shall be taken away, even that which he hath. That's right, and that's why the Lord said to be, to be hot, be hot. Right. The scripture said to be, to, you know, <laughs> be hot or cold, so the Lord could know how to deal with you. Because he ain't dealing with no great areas. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
The Lord ain't dealing with no gray areas, man. He said, the little that you have shall be taken away from you. Because you if you ain't doing nothing, right. then what you think? What you need it for? The Lord ain't playing with people, man. Right. This is um, Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, meaning the Lord, we have forsaken all. Matter of fact, book shot. Can you read 26? 26 it says, <laughs> But Yahweh shall beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with the most high all things are possible. Going back to the title of this lesson. That's right. All right. The Lord is in control of all things. That's right. All right. You got it up. That's right. <laughs> the Lord is in control of all things. That's right. For Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27 it says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and have followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Verse 28, And Yahweh shall I said unto them, Verily, which means truly, I say unto you, that ye which follow me in the regeneration, which means reincarnation, yeah. when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah. Meaning the disciples who are later apostles, right? Yep. The Lord promised them that they would sit. This is a prophecy. This is a, this is a prophecy. Right. right? The Lord is promising them that they're going to sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes. That's right. Okay, verse 29, it says, And every one that had forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. So, like I was saying earlier, when we read the uh, the account earlier where it says uh, the brother flipped the five talents that the Lord had gave him. Right. When the Lord returned, he, 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 um, he had he had he had five more right, right. on what he was given, but it's another account. But I believe that said it, 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 in that account, I believe it said a certain man, meaning it was a parable. It said I believe it said a certain man when it began, uh, when it began. Uh, but at the same time, it was, it was saying his lord. Oh, where it said a certain man traveling. Yeah, go back, go back to it. Go back uh, to it. I, I could be, I, I could be wrong. No, it, uh, Matthew twenty-five and fourteen. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man tra traveling Con. into a far country, right. who called his own servants right. and delivered unto them. Right, so that, could be, so, so that could possibly be the Lord. Right. Okay, but at the end of the day, it's a parable too. Right, 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 right this, of course, of course. this account is the Lord is saying a hundredfold. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now, I, I understand. In the, in the parable, it. That man could represent Yahweh Shai. That man could represent Yahweh Shai. And, and, the, and the, the individual that flipped the five talents, and he gave more. And the individual that had two talents, and he gave mean, more. Meaning mean he flipped every one of them. Right. So if, if, if it was five he was given, and he flipped, yeah, I mean, he flipped all five of them. Right. The other brother who flipped the two, he fl if he was given, how much he was given? Two? Two, yep. And he flipped two. Right. So he fl I mean, he flipped. He, he did the job. He did all what he was doing. If, I, if you give me five things to flip and I flip all five of them, that means I did all. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's just a different account. The Lord saying, you know, a hundredfold. That's right. Which in, in both cases is good. Yeah, that's right. Cool. I got a precept. You got it, brother. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the most side is righteousness, mm -hmm. and all these things shall be added unto you. That's right. All right? And that's what we're doing. We're seeking first the kingdom of the most side and his righteousness. And whatever we forsook on this side, this is to back you up in Matthew 19, whatever we forsook on this side, hey, the, Lord gonna, the Lord's going to, you know, reward us, man. That's right. <laughs> I'm reading it again, Matthew chapter 6. Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So whatever we put off for Yahweh by Hashem Shai, guess what? The Lord gonna give it back to us, whether it be women or whatever. Uh -huh. The Lord's gonna reward us, man. Uh -huh. All right. You got anything else? Uh 
Uh, not at the moment, but um, yeah, like a, like the brother said, the Lord is going to reward us, man. It, it, the promise is the promise entails a lot of beautiful things, man. I mean, eternal life, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be immortal. You know, that's right. The promise and, and, and entail a lot of beautiful things, man. The kingdom, that's right. You know, these are the things we have to look forward to. We shall be changed. You know, how can you want? I mean, what what what, what could be more than that? That's right. What could what could be more than that, man? <laughs> you can't. Hey, the Lord said He's going to reward us, man. This is the type of reward. Let me let me go to that real quick, man. Um, first, uh, first Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter, because I mean. You can't. It's no. It's no. It's no reward greater than that. You shall be changed. Yeah. Um, First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter. Uh, I'll start at the fiftieth verse. It says, "Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither do with corruption inherit incorruption. I behold. It says, behold, verse fifty-one. Behold, I show you a mystery." We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. This is part of the promise. Read verse, verse 52. 50, 50, verse 50, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. Yep. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And when I think of this, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, why do people not want to repent? Right. You know, but but for the sake of the movie and the way it was written, we just know say that's just the way it is. Yeah. Verse fifty-two, it says, "In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible, slacky, for this corruptible must put on incorruption." And this mortal must put on immortality. Immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written: "Death is swallowed up in victory." Oh. Yeah. All right. So, hey, we're gonna have the victory over death, man. I don't rather. I don't want rather that we be those men that. You know, the children of Israel, we, we ain't going to never die again, man. We're going to have those laws and statues placed in our inward parts. You know, the scripture tells you that uh, Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, the wages of sin is death. That's, that's, that's sin is what brings death, man. That's right. And that's how we die. Okay? But if we're not going to be sinning, we're not going to die. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. Man. So, hey, to what do you have shy? To what do you have shy? That's right. Twenty how about Shimia Rashaim on the most side Yahweh by Shimia Rashai is in control of all things, man. You see? Yahweh by Shimia Rashai is in all things, man. That's just what it is, man. That the true power. The true power is in control of all things. And I I, I came I I am um, whilst we're doing this lesson I wanna say real quick, I, I put a precept together today. I mean you should know it, but now I know it even more better. When you read, when you read this chapter right here, it says, and I had to precept this today <laughs> when I heard it came out. When you, but because you know it, you should know it. But when I heard it, I was like, you know what? Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse sixty-eight, where it tells you that no man shall buy you. That is a very a chapter what we all should know and I'm going to get the precept to follow behind that to show you how it makes sense. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68 it says and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships meaning the Israelites we went into slavery it says by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more meaning our homeland Israel and it says there ye shall be sold as sold unto your enemies for born men and born women and that happened in the Americas right mm -hmm. and it says that no man shall buy you so it says nobody sh no man shall buy you we know that word buy means redeem mm. so no man shall buy you right mm. who's gonna redeem us 
Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh. All right. And so, uh, uh, what the Lord said? The Lord said, "I shall not meet you as a man." Right. So that means saying, you know, man, goodbye. The spirit power of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh is the Lord is going to send His Son, right. Yahweh Shai, which is going to be that angelic power. So no man literally ain't going to buy us. It's going to be that power. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yahweh Shai. He, he said, he he's not, I shall not meet you as a man. That's right. So ain't no man is going to buy us. That's right. That, that power. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. That, that's right. that power is going to redeem us, going to buy us back. That's right. So ain't no man, because ain't no, ain't no man on this planet, the Lord coming for us, Yahweh Shai coming for his elect. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Man. The most high is in control. Y'all by Shimmy is in control, man. That's right. You got I can I close up with something? Yeah, that's it. Close. Hey brothers. Hopefully you were edified, man. And with that, we're gonna give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great men, stone and hardness of truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their life for the freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Bah. Baba Bah. Kwame Ashurallah. Kwame Ashurallah. Shalom. Shalom.